All right, I missed this question when I made my last video, and I really wanted to answer this one. Uh, but this is from Edmund Hartley, and he says, Can anyone help me? I have just purchased this camera, and LCD screen doesn't work when it's fully open. It works fine when articulating, but when placed back into the housing, it turns off. Any ideas? I've done a full factory reset, and it still doesn't work. All right, so your comment was from a video on the M5 Mark II, so I'm going to assume this is the camera you're talking about. And also, if you just purchased this, uh, I'm going to assume you bought it used because this is like six or seven years old now. And the same thing happened to my EM10 Mark II. And basically what I think has happened is the EVF sensor, there's an eye sensor here that when you put your eye up to the EVF, it deactivates the live view screen or the LCD. And then when you take your eye off, you know, it activates again. And the eye sensor on my EM10 Mark II has gone bad. So I'm having the same problem. When it's fully uh, placed back onto the back of the camera, it doesn't turn on. It's off. It only works when I pull it away from the camera, or in this case on the EM5, you articulate it and it comes on. So as I said before, most likely what's wrong is the eye sensor in the EVF has gone bad. Uh, one way you can check it is take out your cell phone, for example, and then turn your camera on, and you should see a little red light come on like that. See, so I'm going to turn the camera off, and you see that red dot went away, and then when I turn it on, that red dot comes on. Uh, and that's that's the eye sensor, and that's probably what's bad. But if your eye sensor is bad, this is what we'll do, is on the M5 Mark II, you can push and hold the EVF button here. This is an EVF toggle. And rotate the rear dial. And inside the EVF, I assume that's still working. This is what you're going to see. So let me toggle back. Push and hold that button. And then you'll see the EVF auto switch uh, come on. And rotate the rear dial to turn it on or off. So in your case, you want to turn it off. And then click OK. And now just push the uh, EVF toggle button on the top of your camera. And hopefully that'll activate the live view for you. So when you push it, it goes to the EVF. You push it again, it goes to the live view. So now this button becomes a toggle between the EVF and the live view. And that's really the only way you might be able to get this to work. And that's that's what I do on my EM10 is I the, the EVF button is on the side here, but on the EM10 on EM5, your camera, it's up here. And that's that's the only workaround. Uh now if you don't see it uh when you push and hold that, maybe you reprogram this. Uh you can go into the menu and go into the custom menu and go down here to uh built-in EVF. Click OK, and then go down here at the EVF auto switch and just turn it off directly in the menu this way. Now, it's possible that just turning the EVF auto switch back on solved your problem and everything is fine now. But I find that unlikely because you said you did a full reset, in which case EVF auto switch is turned back on by default. Uh, now, if toggling between the EVF and the LCD doesn't work uh, after you turn the auto switch off, then it's very likely there's some something wrong with the wiring in the hinge on the LCD, in which case you'll have to get that fixed and or the uh, eye sensor on the EVF. Uh, the only other thing you might want to try is maybe getting a Q-tip and cleaning the surface of the glass on the eye sensor. Maybe it's just dirty and you just need to clean it out a little bit, particularly if you bought it used. And you can actually, you can remove the uh, the rubber eyepiece, you just it just snaps up uh, in an upward direction, and then you can snap it back on uh, and try cleaning that. And maybe that's all it is. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if any of those worked out for you because it's really a terrific camera, and I wish you the best of luck because I think you'll enjoy it as much as I do. So you can get it working again. Uh, and if anyone else has any other questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll always do my best to answer. But Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.